what's up guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here welcome to my channel so today we are going to talk a little bit about resistance bands i'll get that later so in case you don't know what a resistance band is it is going to be a band it gives you resistance. A lot of people use it in strength training. Um, that's basically what it's for. So wherever you put it, um, the longer ones can be put on the bars. Um, the shorter ones, a lot of girls you'll see in guys, um, they'll put them around their thighs and it just builds resistance on the way down. Resistance bands can also be used in physical therapy as well. But today I'm gonna show you how to use them in just resistance training and strength training. So I got three resistance bands here. I have a rubber like classic resistance band. Um, it's like medium resistance, I'm pretty sure. And then I have this one. It's a little bit more um, updated in my opinion, just because with these is that they tend to like roll up or they'll slip, um, sometimes they'll snap. It just, it happens because it's just made out of rubber. Um, but this one, it has like really cool grip inside. So it's like a non-slip grip, it won't roll up. And then this one is also medium resistance or light resistance, I forget. But I got this one from Perfect Peach Athletics. And this one, I think I got online too. It just says skills. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, right? I don't know. And then I have one more and it is going to be a long resistance band. So it looks, it looks something like this. And this is by Power Guidance. So today I'll be showing you um, five different types of exercises that you can do with each one of those resistance bands. And I will be targeting the legs and glutes. So first actually we'll start with this big, this big guy. All right, so first we are starting with kickbacks um, with the longer resistance band. So you are setting the resistance band on your foot, um, basically in the middle of your foot, a little bit closer to like your toes and you're just kicking back and up and you're holding it with both your hands. And this helps your glutes. The next one are going to be side fire hydrants. Um, so your glute band is going to be by a little bit above your knees and you're pulling your thigh outward. There's the other angle. And this works your outer thighs. All right, the next one is going to be a hip thrust into a hip abductor at the top. So what you're gonna do is put it above your knees a little bit, you're gonna push up with your hips, and then when you get to the top, you're gonna squeeze and pull your thighs away from your body. This is going to work your glutes and your outer thighs, and make sure your back is straight, keeping your chin down, breathing properly. The next one is going to be a jump squat. Um, I like doing these with a resistance band just because you really feel the burn um, on your outer thighs a lot. The final move is going to be a side step. Um, I usually do this when I'm warming up for legs and um, the resistance band will be midway thigh and knee. And then if you're a little bit more advanced, um, you can definitely do what I'm going to show you next. And it's basically just going to be the same thing, um, except instead you are doing a jump squat at the end. But those ones I use for burnout because those ones at the end, uh, they'll definitely get you. All right guys, so before I go, I'm just going to review what we talked about. Um, so I use three types of resistance bands. I have the rubber one, which is like the classic resistance band. Um, like I said in my video, I had to switch this out though for this one, just because it's a little bit more nice. Um, the material is cloth and then the inside is like grippy. 
so it doesn't roll up like this one did in my video um and it's just overall better and then also we have the long one which i use for kickbacks you can also use these for a bunch of upper body ones too and for stretching so let me know if you want to see that um anytime soon in the comments um on instagram anything like that let me know and then a couple things you should look into when buying resistance bands of course like i said do you prefer the rubber or do you prefer the cloth they usually come in three different types of strength so they'll have um the light resistance the medium resistance and then the heavy resistance so whatever you feel comfortable with um you shouldn't be getting something that you know one is too much for you or two you know you can do more so just a couple things to keep in mind. And I know I've actually talked a little bit about resistance bands um, in one of my other videos. It's called what's in my gym bag video. If you wanna see that though, I will link it below. I definitely recommend a uh, resistance band training just because it builds your strength and it's really good for physical therapy too. Um, so, and then you can do these at your house like I just did right now, or you could do them outside, or you could do them at the gym, you could do them at a park. The possibilities are endless. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. I will leave it here. It is Tanisha with two A's Ramirez. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.